सम्मान में विभोर न हो अपमान में विभोर हो जाओ ये अवस्था आ जाए तब तक जो हम भाव भक्ति में गए ये जो आपका आदर होता है सम्मान होता है रिस्पेक्ट जिसे आप कहते हैं इसमें आपको बड़ा अच्छा लगता है किसी स्वामी जी आप कहा अच्छा बोले हाथ पीटना अच्छा बोले स्वामी जी विभोर हो गए आपको स्वामी जी आपने जो कुछ लेक्चर दिया होता गलत था बिल्कुल बेहदा पड़ा था आप लग गई स्वामी जी को जिनको के भी लेक्चर सुनने वाले सुखदेव परमंश कह रहे थे यानी वो अहंकार अभी बहुत विराट रूप धारण किए बैठा है अभी कहा भाव भक्ति में प्रवेश हुआ तुम्हारा जब मेरे को तुमको शौक पैदा हो कि हमारा अपमान आज कोई नहीं फिर बीत गया कोई करे ये और मिले क्या अपमान तो विभोर हो जाओ बिल्कुल ठीक कह रहेगा कौन सा दोष नहीं है जो हमसे कोई कहेगा और उससे हम परे होंगे बात जब माया है तो सारे दोष उसी में तो कोई हमारी बुराई करेगा कामी कहेगा तो भी कहेगा लोभी कहेगा मोरी कहेगा सब है कोई इसमें गलत क्या तो मान सुंदरता I would think. And so if that hasn't happened in some sort of miraculous sense, so that you're the best person you could possibly imagine being on an ongoing basis and then terrified of of deviating from that path in a serious manner, then I don't see why you have the right to say that you believe in God. You know there's a line in the New Testament that Christ himself says, two of them, I should read them too because they're very relevant to this. Um I guess I could paraphrase the paraphrase them. Uh a rich man comes up to Christ and says and and says good good leader good lord and he asks him a question about how it is that he should be a good person and Christ says don't call me good there's no one that's good but god and you know it, that's worth thinking about i mean the one person that in principle in our ancient stories had the right to make some direct connection between himself and the divine was unwilling to do it when challenged and so it might be reasonable to assume that each of us could be much more cautious about making that sort of statement bluntly when we're asked he who truly loves jesus christ and sorrows for him who bears him in his heart and in his body will have no thought or care or solicitude for aught else such a one will sincerely mourn over his sins and offenses will long after eternal happiness will remember the judgment and will think diligently on his last end in lowly fear he then who wishes to arrive speedily at a blessed impassibility and to reach god counts that day lost on which he has not been ill spoken of and despised <laughs> 